So here's router one. Show IP interface brief shows us uh, the IP addresses configured on the router. Here's the loopback interface. Here's the IP address on gigabit zero slash zero slash zero. So the first thing we need to do is configure an exclusion range. So IP DHCP excluded address 10.1.1.1 to 10.1.1.100. The next thing we need to do is configure a DHCP pool called PC. The network to use is 10.1.1.0 with a subnet mask of slash 24. We then need to configure a default router or default gateway of 10.1.1.254 because that's the IP address of router one. So the default router will be that. DNS server will be the router and that looks good. So show run. There's our exclusion range and there's our DHCP pool. Show IP DHCP binding. Our client has already been allocated an IP address, 10.1.1.101. So let's confirm that by opening up a command prompt. IP config, there's the IP address of the PC, there's the subnet mask, there's the default gateway. Can the PC ping router one? Yes, it can. Can it ping the loopback of router one? Yes, it can. And to confirm that, show IP interface brief. There's the loopback of router one, and the PC can ping the loopback of router one. Can the router ping the PC? Yes, it can. So we've successfully configured a DHCP on router one and tested that the PC gets an IP address via DHCP and that the PC can ping the loopback of router one. That was a very basic DHCP lab. In the next labs, it gets more complicated.